As bird flu has reached New Mexico dairy cows, the feds are set to launch new safety rules for transporting cattle. But some local ranchers are concerned about how much it might cost them. News 13's Marilyn Upchurch explains. This rapid of a change is going to be hard for people to comply with. Cattle ranchers across New Mexico are bracing for a big change. Under a new rule, the USDA is soon expected to require electronic tags on most cows and bison being transported on any American highway. Some ranchers think it could help make a safer food supply. The program has been developed with input from producers and uh, some of our largest concerns, including affordability, protection of personal and private information, it's been addressed. The USDA says the traceability system should help stop diseases from spreading. For us to uh, uh, market our cattle overseas, uh, you know, uh, export cat our, our beef, I think it's necessary that we do, we put this in place so that it is traceable. With the rule, most cattle and bison 18 months and older will need to have a new electronic ear tag, but some ranchers are concerned. And it does have a purpose. Um, but making it a mandate, I think that might have taken it a little bit far. While the USDA says it will provide tags for free, some ranchers worry about a short supply and costly implementation. The framework, the, the readers, the software, all of that, like it, it costs a, a lot of money to implement. The USDA is expected to publish final rules in the coming weeks, which would be effective 180 days after that. Well, that's just a six-month grace period of uh, getting, getting stuff moving. Others say it should be enough time. We're pleased to see the six-month time frame put in place for implementation of the rule so that everybody can uh, learn, learn what they need to do. Marilyn Upchurch, KRQE, News 13. Cattle and bison used in rodeo or recreational events will also have to be tagged.